This happened just before all the chaos. Fairfax, Virginia police have apprehended 30 pedophiles who have attempted to meet up with children for sex during COVID-19 pandemic. According to the 2 Fab, the sting called Operation COVID Crackdown was created to capture online predators who attempted to meet up with children for sex. The 30 men, aged 20 to 74, use a pandemic to their advantage since more children at home are using the internet for school and recreational activities. Seems like America's gone to shit, hasn't it? Chrissy Teigen. Oh, she finally, finally set herself to private. Finally. But it wasn't before someone caught her. And here we go, a quote from Chrissy Teigen. Uh, the quote was uh, June 16th, 2020. I like to add a pinch of baby powder to the flour when I fry chicken so it smells like tender toddler booty when the warm breeze slides over my lips. Mmm, pinches nipples. And yes, well, there's really nothing more to say about this one, is there? Everything is right there. Now these marches are in California. And I really hope if these marches go all across America, these marches have to go all across America. We out here, man, Hollywood and Vine. People out here showing their support, man. sign right there, pedophilia is not a sexual orientation. So Patton Oswald and all the other Chrissy Teigen LGBTQ people out there can just suck it because pedophilia is not a sexual orientation. That you see for us parents is the hardest thing to look at in children. It's, if you're a parent you know exactly even if it's uh, to go stay night at a friend's house. When your children are out of the house, you have that sense of worry. Now imagine, your children are in foster care, and all the news coming from the foster system is telling us that 80% of all children rescued from human trafficking are in foster care. CPS likes to use the excuse that these children ran away from their foster homes, but how does a two-year-old run away? I will try to find it if I can, but I saw a webpage where uh, a two-year-old spent like uh, 30 days with 30 men, just repeatedly, and Two or three months, not one person has shouted, children's lives matter. This is why we need the people on the street. This is why we need them out there. This is why I want to be out there. It is time to protect your children. It's time to take the children back away from this evil entity. And they're everywhere. Children are being sold as, uh, as simply as drugs can be sold. The only thing is, when you sell cocaine to someone, you collect the money. That cocaine is going to be used and gone. We're talking about a human life. We're talking about a child. Collect your money, you take the child back, and you give it to the next person. This is the worst kind of torture, and everyone out there 
is out there shouting Black Lives Matter and uh, impeach 45. They, they want to, I don't know how everyone thinks this is all a conspiracy when it's clearly not. It's real. It's out there. The CPS is kidnapping children, putting them into a foster care system that is putting them children into a human trafficking situation. We all need to get up and fight our asses off because the, if children are our future, then the future is fucked from this point on. It's gone. <laughs> Got everybody showing up, man. Where are all the famous people? Where Where is Will Smith? I, I watch Fresh Prince nightly, but I have to ask myself, where are people like Will Smith? Where are people like uh, Alyssa Milano, of all people? Where is the Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? Where is any actor or actress in the middle of all this? Hiding at home behind security? What, what are they doing? This music doesn't copyright my video. I'm trying to get away from it. Got people out here, man. matter and Antifa protests and the more statues they bring down, the more books they burn. Uh, for people like me, it's not about the preservation of history. It's about uh, they're hiding. They're hiding everything else that's more important than. And right now, the most important thing should be the children, especially during pandemics, especially during any kind of crisis. Children should come first in every scenario. And people have been silent since the 80s, since, uh, since uh, children were coming out of the woodwork, uh, saying that priests in the Catholic Church were doing that, and what happened to a majority of those priests? Nothing. I, I don't even think they got a slap on the wrist. Uh, in my case, it was a Baptist church. That there's no, there's no justice. The the separation of church and state must also mean that uh, the church cannot be arrested, unless it was that one case. Uh, that man who got caught, he was a pastor. Uh, I'll find him. Ron Davidson, and we have more details on the sex trafficking pastor from Ohio. Cordell Jenkins, who was having sex with underage girls and and pimping them out for sex. Uh, he held them against their will. And uh, so he's probably going to get, you know, some time for that, too, uh, for kidnapping. Yeah. That's right. Loving, spiritual, very Christian congregation is raising money for him. That's right. They're raising money for him, and but they're not raising money for the victims. You see, well, people always attack me, telling me that. 
Just because a man is a pastor of the church doesn't make him more holy than the people he abused to get there. Just because he has a position of power does not mean he has the ultimate authority. And if you're going to gather money to help free this man from jail, you need to raise some money for the victim, just like this man said. The victim. The words like just honestly. Distance herself from the whole thing. New details tonight in the sex trafficking case involving two local pastors. One of them faced a federal judge. His wife, Laura Lloyd Jenkins, has decided to leave, take a leave of absence from her position on the Lucas County Children's Services Board. 13 ABC's Alexis Means broke this story last week and was in the courtroom when a judge heard Pastor Cordell Jenkins' case. Alexis joins us live with today's developments. Alexis. Well, Pastor Cordell Jenkins appeared nervous in court. We saw him communicate with his wife. It appeared he knew he was not getting out of jail. He told her next time. I've got to ask you. You want to make a comment? Sorry, no comment. Okay. No comment. It's the first time Pastor Cordell Jenkins' wife, Laura Lloyd Jenkins, has appeared in public. She is the Lucas County Administrator. She was out of town on sick and personal time when the FBI arrested her husband. The out of ABC town. caught up with her after her husband's federal court hearing. The men walking with her got angry when we asked her to comment on the allegations against her husband. Can you shut up? Dozens of friends, family, supporters, and sex trafficking victims packed the courtroom for his detention hearing. Hmm. Pastor Jenkins has hired a civil rights attorney out of Detroit to help defend him. He waived his rights to a detention hearing today. His attorney will file. That's what gets me. That is what gets me. Uh, for parents who are dealing with CPS who. Uh, Violate due process, violate the law, tell lies, slander, do everything in their power to extract the child from their home. Uh, there is no, I, I can't find an attorney for it. Uh, there's no GoFundMe. There's no crowdfunding. I couldn't hold a jar and go door to door because once CPS enters the picture, you're automatically guilty. You're a second class citizen. But I'll be damned. I'd be damned if some civil rights attorney is defending a pedophile of all people. This leads me to believe that some of us are second class citizens and we have no rights. I, I, I don't, I honestly don't think I will ever have rights. I, I honestly don't. It's a sad world. File a motion for another detention hearing at a later date. People who attended the hearing had mixed emotions. God, it's all in God's hand. That's all I can say. You know, I don't want to leave no fault, but it's all in God's hand. He's a sick person to yes. do this. Alessandra De Romano is a survivor of sex trafficking. She now helps other sex trafficking Here's a right-thinking person. She had strong words for Pastor Jenkins and his congregation. I, I also feel that it's bad that his congregation is raising money for him. For what? They're the victims too because they're ignorant and they're not realizing what's going on. No, they're not victims. What they are is uh, if you get news of this and there's evidence to prove that it is happening and you still go to that church, you still give that person money, you still collect money to help that person, you are as guilty as that person. That's what I told the CPS caseworker and he used that against me saying I was a conspiracy theorist. I said no. Any person who allows that to happen and continues to do business or conduct socially with them have allowed it. And then you become guilty accessory after the fact because you're welcoming that kind of behavior in. That's what that means. And if you're welcoming that kind of behavior in, you are as guilty as if you committed the act yourself. That's how I believe. I don't know if everybody else believes the same way, but that's how I believe. 440,000 children in foster care. 400,000 people in America live in the condition known as slavery. 
88% of the children rescued from human trafficking have come from foster care, and 80% of all the parents dealing with CPS are for non-criminal charges, including homeschooling. They consider that educational neglect. Now I want you to imagine what other crimes out there are not crimes.